Hello, I'm Andreas Flacher. I'm a professor of sociology at the Department of Sociology in, in uh, Groningen, that's in the Netherlands. I think I would characterize myself as a computational sociologist. That means I have a background in computer science. I took a master's degree in computer science and took, got very interested in how we can use computer science to model and understand what goes on in the social world. That made me move into sociology and the work I do in sociology is still very much oriented towards building models of social dynamics. And I think this is really important for social science because much of the work we see in social science sort of neglects the dynamics between people. It looks at data sets, let's say, created by drawing random samples from the population, questioning people about all sorts of uh, things they do and motives they have, and tries to, to understand uh, individual people, but it does not really tell us a lot about what happens when people interact. Of course, there are theories about it, but these theories have never been, or often not been translated into formal models. And I think that is what we can do very well with computational methods. We can learn a lot from computer science uh, about how to do this. And at the same time, we need, I think, the perspective from the, the social sciences, which uh, always uh, informs the content that you put in those theories and also uh, uh, emphasizes the constraint that we have, which is that it really needs to be applicable to the social world, that we need to be able to test on the data that we have, and these data often are, uh, well, do not allow everything we would like to do. So I think we really need both sides. We need uh, social science theory, social science knowledge about data and details, and we need the computational techniques from, com from computer science to understand the social world uh, in a good way.